This video is intended as a quick demonstration of how to download and install SDR Connect on a Raspberry Pi. First, open up a browser and navigate to sdrplay.com and then select the SDR Connect page. Once the page is loaded, scroll down to the bottom of the page and select Linux ARM64 for the Raspberry Pi. Now that we've downloaded the program, we can go to our Downloads folder. Here we see the program. Right-click on the program and select Properties. Go to the Permissions tab and change Execute to be Anyone. Once you've done that, you can right-click on the program again. Actually, you can just double-click and run the installer. So follow the prompts, we'll accept the agreement. I'll do Q to get through it quickly. And uh, it will then go ahead and install SDR Connect. Give it a few minutes to do that. We'll accept the default location. Do the S to continue the installation. I'd like to have a menu entry. Now here's decision time. Do you want to operate the SDR Connect server as a continuous background service? What that means is every time you power up or reboot the Pi, the server will be running so that you can then connect to it from a remote client of SDR Connect. That's my preferred uh, means of operation. If you do not want that to happen, you can select no, but I am going to select yes. And uh, that completes the installation. And I should point out, if you change your mind about the uh, server service, just run the installer again and you can and, uh, change your choice the next time. So having uh, pressed return to close the window, to ensure the service is running, we should really restart. So we can go to log out and then select rebooted. reboot. If we now go to the menu and select SDR Connect, when the program starts up, I actually have an RSPDX connected to the Pi, but if we look at the uh, drop down here, we see it brings up IQ file. The reason being the RSPDX is being used by the server. Another way we can check that is from the terminal. We can bring up the, um, the status command, which should be in here somewhere. I like the fact that we've got some history so I don't have to remember the syntax. System control status SDR connect. So if we hit enter, we should get some uh, information popping up on the screen that will tell us uh, that the server is running and what's connected to it. And there you have it. And uh, basically these are the parameters that the server has been set up with. And uh, yeah, it's all there.